So I'm really glad I got this system installed, but I've never hooked it up into the Weep system. And this is the manifold system we're gonna install. I know that I'm in here in a t-shirt, but the temperature on the wall right here will tell a different story. We're starting to get into winter, and with that, the temperatures outside, at night at least, are getting well below freezing. So I need to make sure that everything inside of this car wash is tied in to this controller, which is called a weep miser. So it weeps water out of all the different functions in the different base. So all the different hoses and pipes that run this car wash will never have an extended period of time where there's no flow of water that way it, it can't freeze over that's what at least car washes in you know northern states here in the u.s have and other you know climates where it gets below freezing and so let me show you the piece of equipment today that i need to get tied into this some of you may recognize this system it's a triple foam system so it's got like red yellow and blue and it alternates colors with the timer and everything so i'm really glad i got this system installed but i've never hooked it up into the weep system. So I'm gonna follow these hoses up over here. Let's zoom out so you can see. The yellow hoses are the fluid and the green is the air. So we don't need to worry about the air, but right here on the fluid, I'm gonna tie these in. I'm gonna, I've got a manifold system, I'll show you. I'm gonna tie them in to each one of the bays right here. So bay one, two, three, and four. And this is the manifold system we're gonna install. So it's gonna come in over here with a piece of PEX. We're gonna run water to here. We're gonna connect this in line like that. And then I'm gonna use quarter inch clear. And clear is specifically so that when it goes through this check valve right here, I know if that check valve is failing or not because I'll be able to see. On this side, it should remain clear all the time. And on this side, we should have colored fluid when it's running. So it's gonna come out these needle valves that I can adjust because the bays that are farther away will need a little more flow than the bays that are close. And then it's gonna tie in from quarter inch on the weep side and I'm running 3 8 inch poly line out to the base. So there's those T's. And then over on the pump stand here is where the weep water comes in right there. That's a specific water line that doesn't go through the water softener, so I'm not wasting good water. And then this controller right here, this is what that weep miser is tied to. It'll control the flow of water coming through and running through all the different hoses right here. Well, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna come off this T, I'm gonna put another fitting in right there, and I'm gonna run that PEX out, you know, up and through. I'm gonna find a good pathway to run it up through here. And then I'm gonna tie it into those yellow hoses that we were just looking at up there in the corner with that manifold that I had. Now let's get started.
so we're plumbed in. We can turn the valve on. The PEX is ran up and across to here. And as you can see, somebody's been using, well, everybody's been using the triple foam and it's back flowing. So last thing to do is just get those check valves in here. Okay, now check this out. So now I can open up this needle valve and you'll watch it clear the line, drain it out. Open this one up and it'll clear that fluid that had backflow prior to me installing these check valves. So the fluid can only go one direction. This top one. And no leaks, so we're good. Okay guys, so that's the basics of a weep system. Uh, it's annoying because it's a whole bunch more parts that can go bad and cause problems with your um, stuff. Even in the summer, a check valve goes bad and you start getting backflow through other lines. But you can apply this to like tire cleaner right here or foam brush. It's tied in already to this system underneath these solenoids and it flushes those lines. So there's a lot of different ways you can plumb them in. That's just the way I wanted to do it with mine with the needle valves and a manifold and independent check valve that are easy to change with the push connects. By the way, all that stuff, all this, uh, these parts that I put on this manifold system, I basically just picked them all up off of um, Amazon. So I'll leave some links below to what I bought here, but obviously you'll have to buy, you know, manifold specific to how many bays you have and all that kind of stuff if you're gonna be installing this. But yeah, that's it. It's a lot of work, but it keeps us in business through the winter months when it gets down to freezing. So little weekend project all wrapped up. Until uh, next video, guys, we'll see it.